On the edit page, the mallet module is what's used to control the quality of the mallet sound. Now we control the amplitude, the amount of it striking the resonators in the mixer with this knob, but here we can control the tonal characteristics of it. Now we have the stiffness knob, which simulates the stiffness of the mallet, and this will really have a large impact onto the quality of the sound. Here's a simple string part with the noise turned off, so we're stimulating and exciting the resonators only with the mallet module, and they're in uncoupled mode. And here's what it sounds like, and I'll adjust the stiffness to give you an idea of the range of color just with this one knob. Now we can modulate the value of this with either velocity or key tracking, which also will have a nice sort of musical dynamic impact on the characteristics of the notes as they're triggered. Now in this part, I've got a wide range of note pitches and a, an average range of velocities around the middle. Pretty realistic type of dynamic performance. And similarly, with key tracking, we can influence the stiffness dynamically. And these can further be modulated or affected by the modulation and the actual amplitude in the mixer module. Now we have an additional element to affect the mallet quality, and that's the noise. And similarly, we can dial it up and modulate via velocity or key tracking. As you can hear, the color knob adjusts the frequency content of the noise that's added to the attack of the mallet. So that's the mallet module. <laughs> 